Venezuela's government is accusing the United States of staging a coup d'état after President Trump announced the U.S. would recognize opposition leader and president of the National Assembly, Juan Guaido, as Venezuela's new president. Trump made the announcement shortly after Guaido, who was virtually unknown up to a few weeks ago, president of the National Assembly, declared himself Venezuela's ruler during a large opposition protest. Venezuela's sitting president, Nicolas Maduro, who was recently sworn in to a second second-year term, responded to Trump's decision by breaking off relations with the United States. I have decided to break diplomatic and political relations with the imperialist government of the United States. Out of Venezuela they go. Enough interventionism. There is dignity here. Here there are people to defend this land. Venezuelan President Maduro has ordered U.S. diplomatic personnel to leave Venezuela within 72 hours. The Trump administration says it will not comply with the order. The European Union and 11 Latin American countries have joined the U.S. in recognizing opposition leader Guaido as president. Russia, China, Turkey, Cuba, Mexico and Bolivia are among other nations expressing support for Maduro. On Wednesday, President Trump implied the U.S. is ready to use military force to support Guaido and to oppose Maduro. We made an announcement about Venezuela today. Um, the, some administration officials told reporters on a conference call that all options are on the table. Are you considering a military option for Venezuela? We're not considering anything, but all options are on the table. Does that mean you're considering military? Which is all options, always, all options are on the table. All of this comes as Venezuela is facing a staggering economic crisis caused in part by falling oil prices and broad U.S. sanctions. We'll have more on the crisis unfolding in Venezuela after headlines.